couple of meteorological tools out there to help yes. explain the phenomenon. Adam, take it away. We have a lot going on, Mike, and the story is now ice. It is daylight outside, but overcast conditions, gloomy gray sky. And this is our yardstick that we set out here around 4 a.m., watching it accrete ice. And check this out if you can get a nice close shot. This is all ice. It's not going anywhere. And this, I would say, is about a tenth to two tenths of ice building up. Right. Here's a look at the future cast showing at noontime. A little humid for outdoor lunch, but you can if you'd like to. And then notice what happens around three o'clock. We start to see some shades of green pop up here and there. Here we are at six. Notice the darker shades of greens, yellows and oranges, indicating some heavier rainfall. And that lasts to about 7 p.m. All right, Adam, could you do that one more time? It looked like uh, the, the moon the, walked. This, the moon walk? The right moon walk? Yeah, yeah, we'll show you. Snow. It's, you it's really it... easy when you have the ice going. Oh, my. I gotta tell you, I, I just I just have a newfound respect for you, Adam. <laughs> thank you kindly. <laughs> all right, thank you so much. Here's something you we do have rain showers all throughout the Midwest, from Omaha, Nebraska to Wichita, Kansas. We get this rain to deal with tomorrow. We're dealing with this rain today. So as Natasha mentioned, you want to take it slow on the roads. Give yourself some extra time when you're heading outdoors today. We may see some thunderstorms coming our way. All right, Ray, back on over to you. Adam, good advice. We'll check back in with you in a couple of minutes. Thank you so much. In the meantime, the this is a little bit higher. I'd say about two to three inches here, but later on tonight this will be irrelevant we'll need this Are later still in storm watch although it looks like some of the white stuff has passed there's still some stuff that's going to be coming our way right adam exactly the snow has moved off to the north and we're left with rain i'll show you a picture actually this is from around 5 a.m this is when i instagram this the snow transitioned over to rain so in the five o'clock hour we were looking good and now check this out this picture is from our wonderful weather intern noni this is in jersey city hashtag winter wonderland check out all the snow you got here around three to six inches in the area. You can Instagram or tweet your photos at me at Adam Epstein WX and we'll try and get them on air for you here. Studio to with a closer look at those conditions. Adam, how's it looking so far? It's looking like it's all about the ice. We're going to go on an ice tour. First up, the umbrella where we have some nice ice chips on the menu. We're good today. This is the umbrella. All right, meteorologist Adam Epstein over in the Weather Center for us with our weather on the twos. We're talking about tomorrow morning, looking at wetness. I mean, see it there. Right, Jess. It's not it's not a very pretty forecast, but it's something we'll have to deal with, and it's better that you know. So we'll start off with our planner throughout the overnight. A few flurries, temperatures right around 34 degrees for your low. And then by 8 a.m., we see a messy mix right around 35 degrees, a mix of snow, sleet, and rain. And then by noontime, we have a transition to just plain rain as temperatures rise well above the freezing mark. In our hyperlocal satellite image over the Bronx, clouds from Riverdale to Bedford Park to Park Chester, and we're going to see a partly to mostly cloudy evening into overnight. And as we pan out, we'll notice all this moisture in the southeastern United States from Louisiana up to Indiana, and this is the moisture coming our way as part of a cold front. So it's causing a lot of problems throughout the United States, but for us here at home, we have a winter weather advisory from 3 a.m. Monday to 10 a.m. So what is this winter weather advisory. Well, first of all, this storm is causing snow to our north, a mix by us by New York City and rain to the south. The impacts that we're going to see is that it starts overnight as just some snow, but it's the timing, not the quantity. Maybe a half inch of snow, maybe a half inch of sleet, but right during the morning commute, the heaviest is 8 to 10 a.m. So please be careful and give yourself some extra time on the roads when you're heading out tomorrow morning. Here's a seven day forecast where the weekend is always in view. Monday, we're watching out for that wintry mix in the morning. Tuesday, 33 and mostly sunny, and then we start a dry trend throughout the rest of the week. I'll have more details coming up in just a bit. Now back to Jess.